Good day guys, Austin here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Retro FE. Now, what is Retro FE? Well, it explains itself. It's a retro front end, the same as I'm sure you've seen on my videos before, Hyperspin. Now, there are loads of front ends out there. Basically, what a front end is, is a, a load of bells and whistles on your screen to allow you to play games. Uh, without flicking through menus, going into options, uh, it, it takes out a boring bit out of gaming. Basically, it lets you, it gives you a GUI to play with, so you can enjoy yourself rather than be ploughed under with facts, figures, icons, settings, and all kinds of stuff. It, it's all done for you. So that's basically what Retro FE is. Now, Retro FE itself can play anything. Um, it's the same as Hyperspin, it's the same as GameX, it's the same as all of them. It can even be run by itself, i.e. it launches its own uh, games, programs, anything it wants. Or you can run it in conjunction with it, something else to launch it on your behalf. For example, you can set this up to run with Rocket Launcher, the same as Hyperspin. Uh, Rocket Launcher, the same as GameX. Rocket Launcher, the same as, I don't know, Big... Big... I can't remember. Basically the same as all the other front ends that's out there. Now, I've been having a dabble with Retro FE for some time. Uh, I've put my toes in the water and to be honest, I was hesitant. I, I give it a dabble, but to be honest, I was unfair. I didn't really give it the attention it deserved. And it was because the people that showcase it on YouTube and, you know, other various forums and stuff, they haven't done anything with it. So when I'm looking at the stuff that it can do, it can't do anything as far as I'm concerned because I'm given the same old themes, the same old launches, the same old systems and to me it doesn't entice me in and the one thing that a front end needs to do is entice me in. Well my friends, things have changed. I was given a little demo version by somebody and I I give it an opportunity. I've given it 24 hours basically and in then 24 hours my eyes have been opened trust me guys now when I view them on on YouTube or wherever else to see these uh, people demonstrating their own setups I'm disappointed because basically the themes that I'm seeing is normally the one that they call carousel which is basically this a black theme, it's got everything you need, theoretically. You know, you've got nice wheel art, you've got the system there, you've got some information, you've got nice logos, movies going on. It ticks all the boxes. But what it doesn't do is entice you in. It doesn't grab you and say, oh, let's actually play that game. Instead, what it does is, it's like, oh, let's spin the wheel and see if we can find something else that entices me. You know, it, it doesn't grab me. And that's what has been holding me off in the past. So, I give it justice. I decided to dig a little deeper and see what this little puppy can do because it's got so much potential to be honest, so much potential. Now different front ends have different um, you know good points and bad points. This one is ticking the boxes so far. So let's have a look at some of the other themes that's going on then. Basically you've got the carousel which to me is like the default one. You've got maimed. This takes it one stage further. This is the next one that I had a look at. And maimed is basically, uh, how can you say, <laughs> it brings a bit of an art to what was. You know, it, it, it's all technically there. The problem is that I think we're going backwards because basically we got rid of the, the wheels and we've put them somewhere else. We've got a lovely backdrop, yes, but not my cup of tea. I don't like anything named theme, uh, themed MAME on my front ends or on my cabinets or wherever because anybody who comes around my house that isn't me doesn't know what MAME is, to be honest. <laughs> you know, we're not all MAME people and I like people to be able to see and think, oh, that's not MAME, that's arcade classics, that's old games from back in the day. So, you know, I like to think a bit more logical in that side of it. And to be honest, yes, it's there, but I've seen this kind of thing over and over again. I, I want something new. So I had a little bit of a look around and I come across Pandora's box. I believe it was Full Soft or Full Soft, Full Soft. My apologies, mate. I cannot pronounce the name. <laughs> you always read them, but you, you never know how to pronounce them. Um, he came up with this, and he did take it that one stage further. He decided to add a few more layers. So basically, we've got you know space for this, space for that. We've got some of the flame action going on, um, videos going flying everywhere, and it's good. It's good. It's a good starting block, but it's not my cup of tea again. 
So after perusing a little bit more, I did find out that this guy, now don't get me wrong, I've seen him on loads of different forums. You know, you always seem to bump into people on these forums when you're into this kind of stuff. Um, and it's called Flat Heel. Flat Heel? Flat Heel? My apologies. It's Again, it's one of them foreign things, I think. And uh, I can't pronounce it. But anyway, the guy's name is Awakened. He's the one who developed this one. I believe he worked in conjunction with uh, Timmy B. And he got this theme up and running. I'm, I'm sure there's loads of others that, you know, got stuck into this theme. Uh, because it does look a lot more clean, crisp, professional than all the others. That's just my point of view, by the way. You know, I'm sure you guys all loved and appreciated all the other ones. But that one, to me, is the one that enticed me in. The one that i seen the potential that could be. And so I decided, as I do, to take it that one stage further. So I had a look at what else it could do and in a small amount of time, 24 hours, I've managed to do a hell of a lot. Now don't get me wrong, what I've been doing is experimenting more than making a system because I, I do see potential in this and I would have this as a front end myself to use. Um, but I would need to start from scratch, I would need to know what it can do, what it couldn't do and to be honest I'm very tempted in doing that. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not going to walk away from Hyperspin because I've invested far too much time into that and to me at this moment in time that has got the bells and the whistles. But this one, snapping at the heels guys, snapping at the heels. It's a lot more advanced and technical than what I thought it was on first glance. These guys have come a hell of a long way. You know, they've invested a hell of a lot of time, they've put a, a lot of thought into putting this forward and hats off to you guys, hats off. I would use this without a doubt and I wouldn't even begrudge it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Now, for those of you who have got vertical cabs, yes, there are themes available for that also, as you can see here. Again, very clean. It's a, it goes along the, um, well, flatio side of it, I, I presume. Um, I'm not sure who made this theme, but it's a very, it, you know, it does what it says in the tin. It displays all your art. It's very editable by the looks of it. You can give all the information you want. Plays all the systems, so you can't complain with that. So, again, I got stuck in. I couldn't resist, you know. I see something like this. I see its potential, and I want to play. So, over the last 24 hours, I thought, yeah, let's actually get into this. Now, there's still a lot of questions that I want asked. Asked? Answered. And I've written off to the developers, and I hope to have uh, news back soon as to what it can and can't do. Because I've got some very interesting ideas for this. There's in very much so, especially to do with the themes for the systems and things like that. If I can, in my head it should work, but obviously my head's a very imaginative place. And if it was up to me, <laughs> well, I won't mention what I'd like on the themes, but trust me, it's one stage further. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I come up with then and I'm just going to take you for a bit of a tour for the setup that I made now don't get me wrong it's nowhere near complete it, it was more experimental than a finished product like I was saying but this is what I've managed to come up with so basically retro FE runs the same as everybody else everybody every other program basically you launch it off and made a little splash screen there you go nice Okay then, so, basically, like I said, I took it that one stage further, so what I've done is, I've uh, given some new backgrounds that actually suit the theme a lot more, I've added some new systems into it. This front end can play any uh, system that's currently out there to be emulated, you know, it can either do it itself, or you can point it through uh, Rocket Launcher, which to be honest, in my eyes, is the more logical side of it, because it makes the whole transition from front end to game a lot more fluid, and cuts a lot of the crap out using it in my case as I am at the moment with just um, what's it called RetroArch um, obviously I'm limited to the certain amount of systems that RetroArch plays and it can look a little untidy let's say when you're launching a game so if in my eyes I would say this would be best working at this moment in time with uh, rocket launcher. So let's actually have a look at the systems and see what I've done then. So as you can see I've used um, Awakens original theme. I've introduced a few more systems just to get to grips of how to add them. I've decided to add a lot more art into like the little RT area going on to the right hand side with the name of the system, a few characters maybe, kept the stuff and I've given a lot more unfocused actually gameplay in the background just to give it the actual theme of the system. 
As you can see, exactly the same with the next one on Capricorn Play System 2. I've tried to keep the colours that are actually represent the system itself, and Capcom is always yellow and blue, so I've tried to keep them along with that. And as you can see, with the Capcom systems, I've tried to get the most popular game and actually give the characters along with the actual title. So as you go in there, as you can see, it's nice scrolling. You've got the video. I've got my uh, game information down the side, uh, down the bottom there. Along the right, I've got the uh, same as always, the uh, wheel art, which is something that only Hyperspin and this front end do, to be honest, which is something that is exceptional in my eyes. There's nothing worse than just white text down the right or left hand side or wherever it is to scroll through. It's just boring. I like to see the actual wheel art top notch, so hats off for actually involving that, guys. So as you can see, I've got box art going on. I may actually have a dabble and see if I can get some cart art and things like that actually brought into this theme. Um, but yeah, I like it. You've got the backdrop there, actually from one of the games. The videos there, the logos there, the colours there, it's all themed well. This is still kept very simple, but I could go even more into depth on this by adding, you know, more layers, actually cleaning up these coloured regions like the wheel section. I could actually get rid of the blue strip behind and just have it so it's, you know, layered on top of the theme itself. I could actually use the unified um, gaming systems like you have on the hyperspin that I normally knock out on my videos I could actually translate that into this setup um, but again I've just been using it on someone else's theme at the moment because it's a lot easier for me <laughs> cheating so let's come out as you can see it's all very smooth very fluid it rolls into the next one added cave and again, you know, you can look, go through the systems, go through all the wheels, all the videos load up. You can have whatever art you want there. I'm not adding anything for this one yet, so there's nothing in the middle of there, I'm afraid, guys. Uh, Jaguar, ColecoVision, old school. Turbo Graphics, and Super Nintendo. So as you go in for the consoles then, again, very fluid the way it scrolls in there. I've got the backdrop of Super Mario Land there going on. I've actually changed all the layout and the actual colours because I didn't think they matched Nintendo that much. But again, all the wheel art, spot on, covers, I can change the covers into the 3D version. If I that's probably what I would do, I'd probably convert them into the 3D version. Bring the cart coming in from the top or the side or something like that, so you can see the cart and the covers going on at the same time. But I, I like this, it's clean. It's clean, it's responsive, you can flick through this, no problem whatsoever. There's no lag, all the systems are there. I like this, I like this front end. Fair play to you guys. You guys over there really hit it off. Don't get me wrong, some of these themes I need to get a grip of. Because they are not floating my boat whatsoever. Uh, I was trying to have a dabble with this one. I think I made the red a bit too bright on this. I meant to just get rid of all the actual backdrop itself on the wheels and just keep it so you can maybe have a shaded out area for the wheels so they don't have any contrast with the backdrop. I don't know. But this is what I, I love this. This is new stuff coming out. Now this is 1080, you know, natively. You know, I believe, theoretically, in my head, I mean, this runs on HTML. Um, my knowledge of which is very limited. I can understand the basics and I can edit as I wish just by trying to learn. Um, but I I can see its potential. I can. It's really, really good what they've been doing. Again, I've got really limited systems on here, guys. It's only what I've managed to get. systems going on. I would like to give this a go with some of the disk space systems. And that's basically what I've managed to get through so far. So this again, you can play anything. We're looking at Wii, we're looking at Nintendo DS, PSP, PS1, PS2, um, I don't know, the 3DS and all that stuff that's coming out now. Xbox 360, it's able to play absolutely anything that can be emulated, just like all the other front ends. Now, to be honest, they have come on leaps and bounds, these guys. Like I said, I was wary when I seen this, because every time I've seen a demo, a video, somebody showcasing it, 
it, excuse my language, but it looks boring as fuck. Um, if my apologies to those guys. It, it's it's my hunger that drives me further to want more from this. And to be honest, I think I will be, you know, investing a little bit more time into this front end just to see its full potential and to help the guys out who's been doing this because they have come so far. You know, th this has only been up for what less than a year, I believe, and there was a huge. Um, starting block for these, you know, loads of people got involved, there was stuff being churned out in no time, this actually come out of nowhere and it was like, you know, Jesus, you've done a hell of a lot here, and it's kind of petered out, and I think it's because they haven't got the, uh, how can I say, the recognition of what they've actually been achieving, and being, nobody actually been able to take advantage of knocking out any super themes and actually get the ball rolling with eye candy and all that kind of stuff so I had a go today I love it I absolutely love it I've got a few other front ends that I want to take a look at in the next week or two um, luckily some of the guys some of the developers of these front ends have actually given me access not just to the front end but a bit of beta 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 I can even say it, access um, so I'm going to be looking at a few other front ends over the next uh, couple of weeks also I've got a couple of cabinets that's coming my way um, I had to send one back the other day because I was not impressed with the activity that was going on with them linking up with certain other people because basically I don't want to be involved with anybody which I think is ripping anybody off that just doesn't happen with me guys Sorry, but no. But I have got two other cabinets on the way. Um, these look like proper legit companies. Uh, go have a look at what they are knocking out. See the build quality, see how good it is. See if it's actually any good and worthwhile the price. And if so, I will fully endorse them and give them all my backing all the way. As long as they let me keep it. <laughs> no, <laughs> but you know me, guys. I try and give an honest opinion on everything. Um, I'm not in this for any monetary gains whatsoever. Any donations that you guys always fly at me, it always goes back to you guys because they always plow it into hyperspin stuff at the end of the day. So that's it. Sorry it's not a tutorial, but hopefully it's broadened your horizons and brought another front end into your life. One which can be me more applicable than this one now. <laughs> okay then guys, you have a good day. Leave any comments down below if uh, you want me to cover any of the front ends, topics, or if you just want to say hi. <laughs> Catch you later guys. Bye.